I'm Tom Johnson, Thomas Johnson Antique Furniture Restoration in Gorm, Maine. These are the tambour doors of a mid-century modern rosewood bar cabinet. And you'll see the entire cabinet when I reinstall these in the customer's home. I don't know why they're called tambour doors, except the word tambour always involves things that are round, like think like a tambourine, for instance. But what's happened here is the material has deteriorated and needs to be replaced. The first thing I want to do is get a sheet of MDF, that's medium density fiberboard. I want to cut a piece to create a flat surface to do this work on. I'm going to cover this with wax paper to keep glue off of it. I gotta get this handle off. I've gotta pry this board off. And actually before I pry this board off, I'm gonna mill up the boards to hold this into place and I'll rabbit out those boards to accommodate the, the tongues on the door. Okay, I'm going to screw these down, but I've got to get this end board off first. Yeah, this keeper was glued down. That's unusual in my experience.
saw is uh, getting a little tired of scraping it. I tried a little heat with the heat gun, but that really didn't seem to do too much. Uh, so what I've done here is I've laid a wet towel on the uh, fabric uh, just for five minutes. Yeah, I don't, the water didn't really seem to want to penetrate this much, but uh, as you can see, uh, some of it's ripping up anyway. I'm not sure, I don't think the water had anything to do with that. I don't want to soak it down because it'll just make a big mess and the other side of these is finished and water would creep down. This is a uh, heavy linen fabric uh, we call mattress ticking. I had also cut a second piece of MDF covered with wax paper that will fit in here on top of the fabric. I just want to, it's not absolutely necessary to do this, but I want to ensure that this is flat. You can use any type of uh, water soluble glue. Okay, I'll let that dry overnight. Well, okay, uh, 
Let's see what we got. All right, this uh, this went down uh, nice and flat. Just a quick note about the gloves I've been wearing. I anticipate I'd get comments on that. Just like people used to comment all the time on the bandages I had on my fingers. You know, it's not, there's a high of 22 degrees today. Uh, for my metric fans, that's minus 5. Humidity is 25, 30%. And the cold shop, uh, the cold tools, uh, was just killing the skin on my hands. So I, as much as I can, I'm keeping these gloves on, moisturize my hands. I'll show you. Just trying to keep them that way. Okay, uh, let this dry overnight. On the second door, I was uh, I actually did a much better job of cutting the fabric and, and, and fitting it here. This is a little bit off, so I'm going to trim up these edges a bit. Alright, these are the boards that go on the inside of the doors, uh, you know, to which the, right on the inside center edge. 
I've got to clean them down and reattach them. Well, this glue just does not want to scrape off. Uh, I tried a heat, really seemed to have no effect, which was my experience on the tambours themselves, which ultimately didn't matter. Uh, but what I've done here is uh, soaked a little vinegar on it, and that seems to be working fine. Okay, let's uh, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, this is great. Okay, I've got to reinstall these uh, strips on the inside of the doors. They were originally glued and nailed, but I'm going to uh, screw them down. Okay, now I will uh, get my kit and go to the customer's house to install these. Okay, here I am in the customer's home. Got a well-stocked cabinet here. Uh, we took the doors out from the front, but they were in pieces. I'm not sure if they're going to go back in or not. Uh, we're going to find out. The first thing I'm going to do is vacuum these tracks, uh, just to get any dust or anything out of there. And now I'll wax these tracks as best I can. I really can't get to in the back or anything. And I'll also wax uh, the doors, you know, the, these uh, uh, tongues, if you will, that, are, that go in the slot. So this opening of the cabinet is not uh, a perfect square. The top and bottom are curved. So there's a much larger dimension here in the center than there. We were able to pull them out through the center, but they were in pieces. So let's see if it'll go back now that it's all together. same way but I don't have this space available to me I'm not 
sure how this is going to work. Oh, I just realized this was kind of stuck there. Something was holding it up, but obviously it opens all the way. And so now I have the room to do this. Now I'm going to go over the uh, cabinet with my orange oil beeswax polish. So there you have it. This is a really nice mid-century modern rosewood bar cabinet uh, made in the 1960s by Mobler. And, uh, and it was fine, except the fabric had deteriorated on the back of these tambours. And now it's fine. I spent about uh, eight hours on this job. That includes pickup and delivery. And uh, these are the tools I used. I think it looks pretty good.